Okay, coaches, we're going to take a look at some of the pass drops, the vertical set, pass set that Coach Stanchek uses at Alcorn State University. Alcorn State had a terrific year under Coach Stanchek. Okay, third in the country at FCS level for sacks allowed. And you're going to see here, anytime, as mentioned in the report, anytime Coach gets a three and a five technique here, it's a vertical set. He's aware of twists. He's aware of all these games. So he wants to make sure even in a quick game, it's a vertical set for those players. The coaching point in the vertical set based on his alignment is you want to make sure your outside eye is to his inside eye, at least according to Coach Stanchek. So what you're going to see here to the left of the screen, okay, you see some type of pressure. Now, this, if, if he's this tight here, that's a tight three technique. It's one kick step, okay? And if he's even tighter, Coach Stanchek can mention it could even be a post step against a tight two technique. In this situation, if he's wider, it's more of two kick steps vertically but you see you got movement right away so the post step has to be activated okay and there it is pretty decent aggression there by the tackle balls out in a hurry see to the left here again we have two three techniques of 50 front okay the twist is coming from the left Okay, see right now it's, it's a little bit deeper. There's a wide three technique here. Here's the penetrator. There's an, a TE stunt, okay, where the tackle's penetrating. The defensive end's coming around. What's going to happen here is the communication is vital. So right now, once that tackle sees that loop where he's making that call, loop, 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 he's able to be aggressive on the penetrator, and the guard is able to pick up the looper. But again, this is done by staying on the same level. Okay, once these players are learning to stay on the same level, that's the coaching point with this, and the vertical set does that for you. They're able to stay on the same level and are able to pass things off. Very important. Now, these last couple, these are not twists, but Coach Stanchek Stan did want to show us the technique involved. You see, okay, he's got a wide five technique here, so that step's going to be a little wider by that tackle. Okay, see so both the guard and the tackle are on that vertical. So see how they're even? They're on the same plane here. That's what they want. Okay, so they're able to pass off, communicate any twists. In this situation, there is no twist, but you can see the technique involved there. And we'll get a look again here, the left side of our screen here. We're not going to get a twist in this situation as well, but again, you're going to see the vertical set technique, which is vital according to Coach Stanchek at Alcorn State when defending a 3 and 5 technique. So here you are going to see a looper. Okay, this player looks like it's a zone drop situation. Okay, but this tackle, because his tackle is vertically setting with the presence of that 5 technique, he's able to be on the same plane with that guard. Okay, and guard is just able to give help there where he needs it. So just some examples, coaches, on the vertical set and why it's so important, especially against a three and a five technique. They'll get those that lineman, those that guard and that tackle both on the same plane so they could see and they could pass off those stunts at the first level. Coaches, thanks for logging in.